Are you a business owner where you're trying to scale your business to seven figures and beyond, but you feel like you're a slave to your business? That was me. Definitely felt like I was a slave to my business. I didn't have any spare time. I couldn't go on vacation. I couldn't take a break. I was working 80, 90 hour weeks. Felt like a hamster on a wheel. And so what stopped me from feeling like a slave and actually feeling like a real business owner was when I got a manager in that I could trust. And so when you first start out and you're doing everything yourself, you have the limiting belief. If you want it done right, you have to do do it yourself, right? And so by having that belief, it means that you have a limit, which is there's not enough people out there that are good. I can't find enough talent. I can't find people I can trust. I can't find people that are competent enough. No one will do it as good as me. What got you to 100 grand a year is not the same set of skills, belief systems, and philosophies that's going to get you to seven figures a year. It's completely different shift. And so you have to let go of the reins. You have to let go of control. And it's scary because this is your baby. You've been working on this business for years, you know, you've blood, sweat and tears that you put into it. And so the thought of letting someone else have it, it's like it's like leaving your baby with a babysitter for the night. You know, it's it's a lot. For me, I had to go through, at first I blamed the marketplace or, you know, it's just, there's just a scarcity of good managers. And I blamed the people as, oh, it's just their, their lack of integrity, rah, rah, rah. But then finally, I stopped blaming things external to me because I realized, well, what's the common denominator here? Me. Oh, wait, what if it's, I'm not building enough culture correctly? What if it's my my market or recruitment isn't good enough? What if it's my interview process isn't detailed enough? And so rather than blaming the market, I started to take responsibility and go, okay, what can I do differently? Okay, I hired a different recruiter. I spent more involvement in the funnel of the recruitment side of things. And I got more hands-on in the interviews. And I started hiring based on values rather than skill set. And so by doing those shifts, eventually I did find an absolute rock star who I poached from another company. And I'm so grateful um, she came in and now she's the manager that runs my entire roofing company. And I'm so grateful because if I would never have let go of that responsibility and took a chance on my manager, I wouldn't be in the space where I am today where I could even shoot this video because I'd be working 80, 90 hours a week and I won't have time to, to even do a video to help you. So you have to let go and you eventually do have to make that shift. But remember these things, what's measured is managed and you can't expect what you don't inspect.